What's up, Battletech fans? As you know, the Mercenaries Kickstarter is very soon to drop, but today, artist Anthony Scroggins released a bunch of photos of some of these new force packs that are coming out, the Mercenaries force packs, the Hanson's Rough Riders, the Erdani Light Horse, the Northwind Highlanders, the Kellhounds. Let's take a look at some of these things. So first up, we have the Northwind Highlanders Command Lance. Man, this is so cool. Like, I remember when I first heard about this and I was like, are they not putting a Highlander in there? I, oh, I was so pissed. And then I found out they're putting the jumping Highlander in there. I was like, oh, all right, now that's cool. You can be like, I'm going to Highlander burial, but here, let me sub in my jumping Highlander for that. <laughs> oh, man. And of course, you got the Gunslinger, which is that's so sweet. Like, come on, how can you not love Gunslinger? You got yourself a Warhammer. It looks like maybe a different pose, I think, and a Grasshopper. He's got some extra photos. Yeah, look at that Highlander. He's just stepping on something. I'm not sure what. Looks like just random, yeah, destroyed mech. It looks like maybe a clan mech, too. There's the jumping. All right. Wait a minute. I see him. He has, he has no jump jets here, but he has jump jets here. Oh, look at the detail on that. Are these... They are, they are removable. Look at that right back there in the background. You can see, so, okay. I know one of the chief complaints about these was like, oh, well, who needs jumping units? It's so dumb. But now you totally have the choice. Like, we're going to give you this extra Highlander, different pose. He's walking over something he just whacked, you know. But if you want, you can make this a Highlander burial Highlander and throw the, the plume of smoke on there. Man, that's so cool. All right. We have got the Eridani Light Horse Hunter Lance. Now, there's that DDR 5SE Thunderbolt, baby. The uh, the jumping Thunderbolt. I'd, my heart goes all the way out to that one. I won Invitational 2 in it. It's one of my favorite. We got the Sagittaire there. Another Cyclops looks like a Banshee. Let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, all right. The jump jets or the, the jump plume being removable seems to be a uniform feature. Yeah, it looks like it, it's taking off running there, but if you throw the jump plume on it, it looks like it's jumping. So, oh, that's so cool. You get like two different kinds of poses, depending, of course, upon what you want to do. And I guess you could just like take it out and install it at the time that you were making a jumping attack. I don't know, just to add some extra flavor into your games. And they're not all uniform either. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah. Here's the group. Sagittaire looks nice. Cyclops, Banshee, imagine Street Fighter and that guy. Let's bust out the Kellhounds. Striker Lance, we've got the Jumping Crusader there. There's that night sky. Hey, anybody who knows me knows. I love the night sky, and I was so jazzed. Got another Wolfhound, and that looks like a Griffin. Let's take a look. Here's our Crusader. <coughs> looks like he's got a little bit of rock beneath him. Eh, there's his jump pose. Very nice. Very nice. And here's the group. Man, that night sky looks so good. And now you can tell the cockpit is right there in the front. I think everybody just assumed it was up there on the, the top. but And I was right. That's a griffin. All right. That looks like the 3M griffin, though. I see a lot more holes on the LRM port there. And finally, see we got the Hanson's Rough Riders. And an Atlas looks like an Enforcer. Ah, the Penetrator. And that's a probably a Hatchet Man. And then oh, we got some jump plumes there. That's a definitely a Hatchet Man. Doesn't look big enough to be an Axeman. Yep, and there's his jump. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And that reposed Atlas looks pretty good, too. But man, that Penetrator sure does look pimp, don't it? <laughs> I happily admit I was wrong. Because I remember when that came out and I was like, who? Who was asking for the penetrator to be made? And now I look at it and I'm just like, Tuck, you shut up. <laughs> Man. Well, we haven't been given an exact release date on these things yet, so we're not entirely sure. Uh, I hear rumblings around the community that we're looking at early 2023, so let's hope it's not any longer than that. I think it's really neat. Which one did you like the most? Tell me what your favorite mech out of all of these was. What you think of the removing the jump plume feature? I think it's super cool. Just drop a comment. Tell me what you think. Anyway, I got more work to do. I'm still writing the next bat rep. I will see you guys next time out on the Space Lane. Be sure to smash our like button and subscribe to our channel. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.